Hi. I went ahead and I decided to check all the quests we have ongoing and I was just breaking into some into houses that we haven't broken into yet. So I found a house full of spiders. <laughs> Dead spiders. Oh my goodness. What happened here? And was there any way that we could take part in that? Hmm? You need something open? No. I need you to stop getting into my way. <sighs> Have to keep going. This body. A sacrifice or some kind of display. Let's see. The effigy of Sendai, who made herself many, would use her multi multitudes. She thought herself a warrior, but only her blood, blood soaked soil. I want that. Huh? Sure. Let's have a look. Because apparently, I know there's a whole lot. The ground that we did not get to see yet. I feel that in this chapter I've been rushing so much that I wanted to take a step back and tie as many loose ends as possible. Again. I think it was uh, the other way around. Everything. I mean, we can go in here. I'd love to, thanks. What do you need to help us get in? So many murders. How about we bake something? You damaged something that wasn't yours. Yeah. You sense trouble brewing. Forgive me. I sure it wasn't intentional. You managed to calm the situation down. Though next time it may not be so simple. Mm. I've been working around destroying barricades. been caught in the act so much for the perfect crime your refusal has done you few favors yeah see oh down here I'm already hated around this part so oh dear Someone's left a trap out for us. Then please take care of it. Who? Yes, please. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. I wish that sometimes these things would go be done automatically at this point. Artificial leech, you mean? Oh. Oh? Oh no. Never mind. With pleasure. Mm. I need to sell those, speaking with animals. Potions. Hey, plus we have it as a hmm. 
we have it as a ritual, which means I can just cast it without using spell shot. On. Come on, let's go. Mm. So we have severed arm, hand, torso, pelvis, foot, leg. Hmm. place with the rat we've been down here yes Again, the hub side, the beach house. Again, because apparently there were sounds that could be heard in here. Now we'll check them out. What? what? What are you doing in here? The man's stench is unmistakable. Death, decay, despair. This must be Thrombo, the runaway mystic carrion was so eager for you to retrieve. This is my spot. Go on, find your own. Um, hello. Thrombo, mystic carrion told me all about you. Mystic. Carrion? You're working for him? Oh no. No, no. I knew he wouldn't let us leave in peace. You don't have to help him. He's the one you should be after, not me. Why? You've met him. How can you need more justification than that? He, he murdered me. Murdered my friends, snatched us right up from the dark side, and, and made us these these things. Monsters. Fit for cutting and, and grinding and, and desecrating the dead. He constantly abuses us. Makes us do the, the worst things you can imagine. There used to be five of us. My friend Dallas, he couldn't take it anymore. One day, I saw him drive a coffin nail right through Carrion's skull. Then another, and another. We thought he had done it. Freed us all. Then when dawn came, Talus seized up suddenly like something had got a grip of him. 
He ran to help, but he just exploded. I got so much blood and, and pulp in my eyes. When I look back, Carrion was just stood there, completely unarmed. Well, if he's alive, then that's not really a good way to approach the dead. Do you know how Karin brought himself back? If I knew that, I'd have tried to kill him myself. Makes sense. I know this is gonna sound strange, but I've been watching him, trying to figure it out, and... I think he's a mummy lord. Hmm. Well, he does seem rather keen on bandages. He likes to pretend he's not a walking corpse like the rest of us. Beneath those rags, he's as rotten as we are. After Talus died, Carrion blindfolded me and took me into a strange place. A foul and ancient place. Somewhere the living wouldn't dare to tread. Down there, he showed me a jar, said it contained the secret to eternal life, and if I behaved, he would share it with me. I, th I think it was his heart. I'm not stupid. I know what he did to my friend. Gods, how I'd love to smash that bastard jar. That's how you kill mummy lords, you know. Well, I found one of those jars. Mm. You say this jar grants immortality. Don't let yourself be tempted by it. Whatever's in that jar must be destroyed. I will find this destroyed jar. Where should I start? I'm not sure. But in the house, beneath Carrion Salon, there's a chamber. He never lets anyone down there, so it must be hiding something important. Perhaps it's there. But be careful if you return to Carrion. He'll know you spoke to me. Make sure he doesn't see or smell you. He'll turn you into one of us, and he'll know I sent you. I don't want to die like Talis did. I want to live. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, no. that's quite the story. And I think I know how to enter this lower part of Kaos's uh, house. That's what I need to say. <sighs> okay. Anything heavy that's, that I've got on my person? Carla, the yeah, the current lungs for more choice. Now, please be so kind to reduce me. Nope, not enlarge, reduce me. Um, and give me some because I did not think that I'm telling through. I need the other scroll. No. We have one. Wait. Enlarge. Great. Do we have Gaseous form or. Maybe I give it to someone. Which would be stupid. Um, but also, with some. Like something I would have done. Lost in thought. Trust no one. Okay, worse comes to worse, I will simply. Yeah, you Let's can go for that. Does. Um. Yes, worse comes to worse, I will figure out something. That. 
I always screw up with this. <laughs> Breathe deep and move. Pick it up. Some mortals might wonder why a mummy lord would abandon a subterranean crypt where he has abided for several human lifetimes, safely conducting delicate experiments into the very nature of life and its so called opposite death. And trade all that for a previous existence in a ramshackle waterfront house in the cesspit of Baldur's Great. Some mortals make morals. An entirety of erudition and taste must naturally have a keen appreciation from what the surface world has to offer. The lilt of music and the lyricism of poetry, the cry of seagulls over grey harbour and at sunset, the touch of a soft, non decayed hand. You don't need a nose to save for a fine wine. All of these things and more have earned through my dedication to esoteric studies, and but all of those things, as well as rare alchemical ingredients, alembics, and atanors, cost money. A lot of it. Thus, my new career as high priced and exclusive mystic consultant to the wealthy of the upper city. I have needs, and they will not be denied. A secret lair in the undercity ruins. What was Carrion doing there? Hmm. Now the question is how the hell do we get out? <laughs> Seems simple enough. <laughs> Not a chance I'll fit in there. Hmm. I was afraid that you would say that. No. Actually, I have an idea. I'm just teleport out. Okay, guys. So we need to find other parts, I guess. Uh... Okay, but other than that, let's go back to Basilisk Gate. I want to go back underneath the city. And what comes, it comes if we have to deal with Orin today. I won't be better prepared. That might be worth a look. Thank you for your insight. And No entry, no exit. Okay, so I cannot just go through the Nine Fingers office. You need to walk all around again. Okay, let's do so. Oh, how I hate this place. <laughs> Wait, there's something. Oh, this is just a way out. Doors should follow. No, I did the back away because of the orange bugs. No, ballast. Yeah, basically orange bugs. Um. Let her have her way. Here? What's cooking? Oh, okay. No. Alright. 
That's interesting. We need to. Very well. All right, there's that. How delicious. Let's save. I'm saving as much. Just in case I have to. Just in case something happens with. I uh, gave my return hmm? to Baldur's Gate a lot of thought. I never pictured this though. Have a lot on my mind. What do you mean? Oh, what did you have in mind? A quiet party, toasting a return with a few good friends. At the ready. Less quiet party with friends, more days of hedonistic debauchery. But uh, otherwise, sounds yes. like a recipe for disaster. But you know what? I'm learning to enjoy the taste of chaos. Me really? Okay, there's someone up in Stewart Foundry. Okay, so we can go with that way. If we deal with the Steel Watch, we can get rid of Kortash. We can get rid of Orin. You're so Seems cute. Like Wait, what's, wrong? what's wrong with you? Why are you. We see. Okay, he's not really willing to talk with me. Focus. Let's see what we have here. A lot of grease. Which is strange on itself. Everything is here, just as I promised my favorite customer. These were not easy to slip past both vein cloaks and fists. I assume you will be prompt in leaving my payment in the usual manner. Until next time. Procure. Ew. Mhm. <laughs> seems not to notice you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Arabella? Hey! I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing. Like it's fate or something. Check out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? Um, have you been on your own this whole time? Yep, and I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him, and I'm still learning. Okay, there are corpses everywhere. What happened? Bandits came at me with daggers. They didn't know who they were messing with. That's not nice I told her. you, I've learned a lot. Mm-hmm, I see. I'll try studying this tool. You are flooded with memories of the distant past. Creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The stone holds records of all who have passed by it. Arabella is collecting them. It's as natural as breathing for her. You're right. The stone is incredible. I surpassed even as if I'd been there myself. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. Okay. Okay, of course they won't have anything on them. That's why they hated the child. Uh. 
But now that I have new place to explore, ah, everyone succeeded the test on Greece. Methods and slugs. But they are speaking, so I mean, let's not jump into conclusions. Maybe they will be willing to talk. I keep forgetting. What are we supposed to be doing? Wizard told us to watch for troublemakers. Hi. What's this, cousin? Another absolutist. Come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Vareki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. Wait, what? Um, uh, okay, no, I haven't got the slightest idea who, what you're talking about. Of course you don't. Sarin, Bereki, and I made our coin by going unnoticed. The finest thieves in the city. Until we messed with Gortash and he sent the cult after us. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot. Until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us. Said Bereki and I had gone strange. Cousin, Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness, or some fuel for the fire. I am not a cultist, and I don't think your friend was either. Your paranoia turned you against one another. Hmm? She swore she was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then. And do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. Understood. And it tastes great. Oh. Ah, bosses. Did you go for a swim earlier? Nah, don't know how to swim. Wait, a ladder? A ladder? Okay, but there's still more to be explored here. It's not aggressive, and I appreciate that. Why is it so dark? from Aelius for a while. We've been hiding down here for a while and the dark is beginning to get to him. He keeps pushing his fire further and further into the tunnels and he almost burned Barak if I could get him out of the way. 
If those two can keep up their head straight, then I have to, for all of us. Hmm. That's curious. Oh, thank you. That's for you. Hello, little one. Baraki, don't be mad if you find this, boys. I'm not trying to keep the treasure from you. We just ripped a cortege, and if I know you two at all, you're going to spend it all in the one spot and draw the bastard Ashdrick to be noticed. Before your protest, remember Talik's bakery. Years back, I'm going doing my best to deny it all uh, to the fist, and you two don't even bother to wash the cake from your gobs. So, if you find this, that means I'm off doing my business in the tunnels. So put it back and pretend you never saw it like sweet little dears. And wipe your faces. What am I getting myself into? Breaking. Oh. The penitent looks at you silently. Expectantly. Give me a moment. I should have one more at least. What now? Some should have it. No one back home will ever believe this. Detect. Nope. Don't touch me. No. Salutations. Really? No detect thoughts? No, never mind. Oh, by the way. This one. I am pretty sure I had to detect quotes. Oh my goodness. No time to rest. Oh, I was so sure that I had it that I just did not bother getting more. Okay, um. Mind reading. looks at you silently expectantly I can read your thoughts uh, you're running a sh who are you? the penitent doesn't respond holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his are you right? the penitent doesn't respond holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his you're running a shop here are you? the penitent doesn't respond mm. holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his that's there is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. Oh, you are rich. So, oh, that's the bank pass. Uh -oh. I need to be careful what I'm selling because I could sell this and then we would not go back into the bank. from my person light armor you gain 20 to 24 hit points after casting wild shape oh that's for truth and bone spike helmet when you rage host the creatures infirmity resumes it a wisdom saving throw take 2 to 8 psychic damage intimidation plus 2 mm. 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 Let's see, I should have something more to sell, I believe. Missed. 
path lies before me. Buff under the light, salute the guy, calendar to judge, and passage provide. For those who yet live unworthy in guilt, no good light shall find what hell they have built. Seems that there should be a way through, but okay, just need to pass it way this way. But I think I would rather try going in here first. If that is, if we can open this, these doors. Dog okay, picking impossible. Okay, back we go. Not as bad as it could have. Give it a shot. Ancient there. Of course, I'm going to save here. Those adventurers died to that? Uh, okay. Mm. How much? Six. This one, this one, and this one. I see the difficulty when you level one spell while you have spell word. Oh. Oh, I should get rid of that. For some reason I just ignore it. I also, I also have spell rod. How did that happen? Oh, it's one turn remaining, so it has to do something with this place. Okay, luckily it wasn't Carla. I, I, no, I'm not saying anything anymore. I don't think this is any better than what we usually do. She can't do anything like that. Can't stay idle. Um. Death's close ahead. Wait, what? Oh, because of blood. Okay. I don't fancy their chances. 
one more hand here. Seven, eight, five, eight, eight, five, eight, eight, five. Torment! Ah! Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Okay, so I basically killed myself. Mummy rot. So this is because they hit me. Attack that is not enough. Never mind. Okay. Time to push my luck again. Do not cast spells. Hard with him. Please help me. Oh, I yeah, need to hear this right now. This would. He'll be hit. That's why it doesn't work. <laughs> you can be healed. And it, please. Wait, what? Oh, I... Oh, uh, that's how it works. I don't like it. I'm trying. Um... Cantrip also counts? No. Great. They cannot get up. Um, and you know, don't remove all of course. Let's give them some turns. Okay, Carl should be able to get up. Wisdom failed. Okay, let's not steal from the mummy. Um, yes, let's. Uh, 
Makan guys, kita Oh, you potions, right? You don't. Oh. Well, hello. That's bad. Oh. We're so lucky that they are sta stabilized enough to what to do. <sighs> stay alive. What else? Soldier. I'll buy or make more. Your desire. Okay. At least things have stayed interesting. Like something about wisdom here? Oh, it could it be about this? There's certainly something about this wall. Damp to touch. The letters carved on the surface appear to have been thrown by a clumsy and leprous hand. Where is he? Where is he? Promised life, eternal life, glory, which is where is he? Let's see. The high priest continues to sicken, in spite of the uh, Hurgeon's ministrations. I fear each breath might be his last, but with every exhalation he whispers to me of a means by which he might leave on to walk among us still. He does not speak of the method, but I am sure it is a reliable one. He has not performed such miracles for others. In the name of the our necromanding purpose? Has he not adorned himself with the jewels of his powers over death? Were he to succeed, what wealth, what further fortune might he draw to a glorious worship? He even offers me, a mere acolyte, the honor of sharing this golden immortality with him. I dare not refuse. I cannot afford to. Hmm. Ah, I can see it. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Can you straight? Just let me... A gruesome sight. A necromantic ritual, perhaps? Perhaps. In of course. Any spell. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Beggar. Vagrant. Scum. My name was Taran. Who killed you? Carrion. How did you get here? Yeah. Carrion offered shelter, safety. I was desperate. Why didn't he kill you straight away? A ritual. Jars hidden in flesh. I failed. Died too quickly. Who's carrying? Mystic. Hmm. What's hiding here? Something else here? Oh, just some cupboards. Okay. 
Okay, but if this is where I'm gonna end this part here, so no, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.